Hello, I'm Tom Lodziak. In this video, I'm going to tell you what you should not do when you are training. Now, I've been going to table tennis clubs for the past 15 years, and this is what I very often see. Yep, it's the obsessive forehand players. And I'm sure you've seen it too. It might even be you. Players who spend ridiculous amounts of time hitting forehand to forehand, again and again and again, for hour after hour after hour, week after week, more and more forehands. Now, what does this mean? Wow, it means that these players usually have pretty good forehands. They can do good forehand drives. They can do good forehand top spins because they've practiced it so much. But this is just one shot in table tennis. And by focusing so much on just this one shot, these players are not learning all the other shots you need to do to be an all-round good table tennis player. They're not developing their service technique, the third ball attack, returning serves, dealing with random placement, attacking, backspin, watching your opponent, dealing with random changes of spin, match tactics, dealing with pressure, coping with different playing styles, learning how to win, and many, many other things. So when it comes to actual table tennis matches, these players, who spend too much time training forehand to forehand, they can often really struggle. Now, why is this? Well, it's because a table tennis match is completely random. Random spin, random placement, random speed. You don't get 10 nice balls in a row coming to the middle of your forehand, which you can execute perfectly. Quite honestly, you very rarely get two balls which come to the same position with the same spin and the same speed. You need to use your training time better. Let's say you've got two hours, two hours training time. Yeah, sure, start off the first few minutes hitting forehand to forehand or backhand to backhand just to get used to the table, the room, the ball and to get your body into a rhythm, okay? That's fine for starters. But then start to do some different things with your training. First, do some irregular drills where you don't know where the ball is going. A basic example of this is a drill which we call open to the backhand. So one player is playing backhands, but instead of them playing it to one position on the table, they're playing their backhands to any position on the table. So for the other player, they've got to work much harder. They've got to switch between forehands and backhands, dealing with random positions. This is just one example. There are hundreds of irregular drills that you could do. And these drills, these irregular drills where you don't know where the ball is going, are great for developing different parts of your game. Really good for developing your footwork, for your recovery, switching between backhand and forehand, and dealing with random placement. And these are many of the things that you need to be good at when it actually comes to playing table tennis matches. What's next? Well, what does every single point in a table tennis match start with? Yes, a serve and a receive. So practice this in your training sessions. First example, the server serves short backspin. The receiver flicks the ball anywhere. 
The server then has to top spin the flick and then you can play out the point. When you are practicing serve and receive in your training sessions, you're developing those aspects of your game. So you're developing your service plus your recovery after the serve and your third ball. The receiver is practicing and developing their ability to do different types of receive plus the recovery after the receive. And by playing out the points, again, you're learning to deal with randomness, random spin, random placement. And these are the skills you need when you play table tennis matches. And then with the time that you have remaining, do you know what? I think the best thing to do, actually play some matches. I think this is really, really important. Um, be happy to play against different playing styles against people who are a bit stronger than you, people who are a bit weaker than you. Um, and don't worry too much about winning or losing. It doesn't really matter in a training environment. Just use these training matches as an opportunity to learn and to develop your playing style, maybe try out some new things that you've been working on. That's really, really important. Have a think about your own training sessions and be honest with yourself. Do you spend too much time just going forehand to forehand or backhand to backhand just from one position? If so, then try to do a bit more with your training sessions. Try to do some irregular training drills where you don't know where the ball is going. Try to do some service and receive exercises to develop that aspect of your game and play some matches. Play some matches to get used to playing matches. I guarantee if you do all of these things, it will make you a better table tennis player. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found these tips useful. Um, if you like this video, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. I'll have many, many video, more videos coming out soon. So I'll see you then. Bye bye.